Nigel Benz is a world-renowned artist and sculptor who has immortalized a great number of individuals ranging from celebrities to political figures to other artists. He is trained in the classical realist style which truly reflects in each completed piece. Born in Battersea, England, Nigel and his family moved to the United States in the mid-1960s and settled in New Jersey. In the 80s, he moved to Los Angeles to pursue an acting and stuntman career. In fact, Jackie Chan gave him his first acting gig in Los Angeles in his movie, The Big Brawl. I believe that everyone has a story to tell. And I also believe that everyone's life has meaning. And oftentimes when we pass through this existence, we really don't get to have people know us and appreciate us. And sometimes we have to wait until we're past. But my work aims to bring people back to life in a way to help us remember who they were. And that's what drives me, the passion to preserve your story. Nigel's clients include Michael Jackson, Jackie Chan, Beyonce, Fox Studios, and a host of other large as well as small companies and organizations that commission his services. He has sculpted numerous awards and monuments for achievements and acknowledgments of individuals whose efforts deserve recognition. We don't honor our scholars and our heroes and heroines enough. By heroes, he means everyday people who serve humanity and positively impact people's lives, not only for what they do, but because of who they are. In 1984, he formed Nijart International, a sculpting and fine art company, and since has produced many fine works of art. My intention is to pass on my knowledge and open a school to teach people how to continue to preserve our legacy and uplift people through art, through the art of sculpting. We were invited to his studio to view his inspirational works up close. I began sculpting as a young person in high school and at that time I didn't really think much of it. I liked art, I always have loved art. What can I do really to explore more of who I was? So I invested more heavily in art and um, I just kept getting better and better. Then I also have um, uh, a, a real key for perfection, an eye for perfection, and that led me to my first professional work with Michael Jackson in 1990. As a perfectionist, uh, we both appreciated each other's work, so that was my first commission, and I've just been moving forward uh, ever since. Nigel's current project is hip-hop icon Tupac Shakur, and we were able to see up close the precision and detail going into this project. I was commissioned to create a monument over life size to replace one that was already done, commissioned by Tupac's mom, actually, and it was at the Tupac Amaru Performing Arts Center in uh, Atlanta. Nigel consistently demonstrates amazing focus and discipline as he captures the intricate details of this hip-hop legend. Once completed, the larger-than-life statue of Tupac will have a unique design element raise tattoos so people can feel the tattoo designs even if they aren't able to see them, similar to Braille. So this will be the definitive Tupac statue. I don't think that there will be another one that comes after this uh, to match this level of work. I really don't. Nigel is a true humanitarian. Although what we've seen thus far is truly amazing, they all lead up to his most magnificent project, the humbly astonishing Mother of Humanity project dedicated to peace. This monument came to vision after the 1992 riots in Los Angeles and was erected in 1996 in Watts, California, where it proudly stands today on display at the Watts Labor and Action Committee headquarters. There are plans to build six other identical statues in six other countries, Africa, Australia, Brazil, China, India, and Spain. With the exception of the monument in Africa, the statues will be around 16 feet tall while the one in Africa will measure over 300 feet tall. This is to be the centerpiece of a magnificent theme park called Motherland, which began design and construction in 2016 in Cameroon, Africa, with a projected completion of 2020. Nigel is leading a team with some of the most skilled people on the planet to bring about this amazing theme park, and the monument will feature skywalks, retail spaces, a 600-seat theater and auditorium, restaurants, and several state-of-the-art museums within the monument's interior. To learn more, visit motherofhumanity.org or nijart.com.
Red Saw Arts. I'm Dee Marquise. <laughs>